All right, welcome to this update with the weather. Uh, we have word that the tornado did wind up touching down Saturday night uh, in in Burlington County. So this is the latest from the Mount Holly Weather Service. Thunderstorms developed and moved across the region starting early Saturday afternoon and continuing late evening. A line of thunderstorms developed in far southeastern Pennsylvania and far northern Delmarva. Marva, a surging segment of this line progressed through Burlington County, New Jersey, producing a tornado in the northwestern part of the county. So this is the tornado in Springfield Township, New Jersey, an EF1, max, the peak wind 80 to 90 miles an hour, stayed on the ground for 7.9 miles. That is very unusual. Path width 800 yards. Uh, it, st- it was on July 17th at 10.25 p.m., 1.5 miles south of Columbus, New Jersey. And it was on the ground for 10 minutes. So uh, it made the, that is quite impressive right there. So a narrow, discontinuous path of tree damage between just east of Route 206 and Columbus Jobstown Road intersection. This is one mile northeast of the Burlington County Fairgrounds. Significant tree damage was observed in a neighborhood north of Columbus Jobstown Road. From there, several large limbs were snapped off on Island Road. One tree was uprooted and one was snapped on Julius Georgetown Road. An additional tree was snapped on New Jersey Route 68. Numerous tree limbs were blown on power lines on Monmouth Road near Tigman's Corner. Scattered tree damage was observed in Jacobstown in North Hanover Township. The tornado dissipated before the Ocean County line. So, uh, yeah, this was, uh, and uh, now Holly has a whole bunch of posts about this tornado as well. Uh, And they show some, they have an image here of the path of the tornado. So let's take a look at this post right here. Uh, this is the path of the tornado. This is where it hit, uh, right here in um, Burlington County, right here, not that far from McGuire. And this might have actually been in some Pine Barrens. So we're going to have to look at the area of that soon uh, as well. There's a story from uh, Channel 6 ABC as well uh, about this as well. Uh, so uh, we're going to play this as well right now. Is confirmation of a tornado that touched down in Burlington County. It happened during those storms last night. Massive trees were uprooted in Springfield Township, landing in some nearby yards. But some of those also landed on top of homes and cars, complicating the cleanup efforts. There also was some loss of property, but thankfully no loss of life. Action News reporter George Solis looking into this live for us now in Springfield Township. And George, you've got more on the confirmation of this tornado and the cleanup underway. That's right, Shari. The National Weather Service confirming that an EF1 tornado touched down here, New bringing New Jersey some heavy this. rain and some winds. Evidence of that right behind me, a large tree, as you can see, toppled over onto some power lines. Fortunately, as we've mentioned, there have been no injuries that have been reported. We also know that well, most that people like in this community now have oh. power. Residents out here tell us they're used to strong winds, usually straight line no, winds, not. so they were prepared for this type of event, but of course it is alarming to hear that it was a tornado. Now, earlier today we saw quite the cleanup effort, a chainsaw city, as it were, in an effort to get many of the uprooted trees that had fallen because of the tornadic winds. Now, there was some damage to homes, as you mentioned, as well as a car. The majority of the trees that fell seemed to spare most homes, though. That is the good news. Now, according to the National Weather Service, uh, the tornado was on the ground for a little under eight miles with winds between 80 and 90 miles an hour. Now, power crews were also out and about to ensure homeowners would quickly have power by late today. We took a look at the outage map on PSENG's website, and it shows that most do have power this evening. Many out here, of course, grateful that damage was not worse. We heard the wind, we heard the hard rain, and uh, I usually listen out for for big trees falling. I've had 10 trees taken down so far. So everybody kind of came out as a neighborhood, and we were helping each other and yeah. cleaning up. And back out live again, you can just see that tree toppled over onto those power lines. Crews will undoubtedly be out here to clean this up as soon as they can. Again, an EF1 tornado touching on the ground here during that storm event that took place yesterday. Officials telling us the tornado dissipated just before the Ocean County line. We are live in Springfield Township, George Solis, Channel 6 Action News. Shari. So there you go. Uh, Tornado there, uh, touchdown uh, in, and even WOBM covered this as well. Uh, and uh, there's tornadoes, uh, you know, so there have been a lot of tornadoes lately, actually, in Jersey the, so far this year. That's not a picture of it, though, so don't get misled there. Uh, but, yeah, tornado uh, in Burlington County, and uh, let's go right now to the maps, and we're going to actually look at this right now. So here's the maps here. I'm going to go to the maps here, 
and uh, go to maps and we'll look this up here and show you where this is uh, with this tornado touchdown that's a long distance eight miles I mean usually they don't stay on the ground for that long when we have tornadoes over here but hey this is all again due to uh, what's happening here so this is the area it happened in right over here uh, let's uh, go to the map here for, for the weather service we'll actually find, be able to find this it's off it's just north of Monmouth Road uh, north of Fort Dix so let's uh, go ahead and look at this so this is Monmouth Road this is off Fort Dix so this is the area it's mostly wooded there are some houses though looks like it's mostly farms and trees fortunately not a densely populated area um, but the fact that a tornado could stay on the ground for that long is is quite uh quite alarming to say the least um i'm not sure if there are any pine barrens over here. i think we're just north of the pine barrens here those are white pines that you see here uh but this is the area that was affected you can see so yeah tornado uh touchdown i had no idea until somebody told me about it but you can see it's mostly farms here it's it's relatively lightly developed fortunately a lightly developed area the outcome could have been a lot different if this was a more heavily developed area but it's fairly lightly developed area i think it's just north of the pine barrens on the north just on the on north of the northwestern edge uh but there could be some pine barrens in around this area possibly um but yeah there you go tornado in another tornado in new jersey again uh um so uh that's gonna wrap up this video here uh again i'll provide the links you can uh watch this excellent coverage here by uh this is a good station here. Uh, they always cover a lot of news that goes on in, uh, in the Pine Barrens of New Jersey. Uh, so uh, there you go. A tornado, touchdown, Burlington County, Saturday night. Uh, thanks for watching.